Now we go to developing news coming out of Prince George's County tonight where police are piecing together what happened before a woman was hit by a bus and killed as she crossed the street. This happened at Main and Water Streets in Upper Marlboro this morning. Tonight, a surveillance video could be the key to solving the issue. Jay Korf live in Upper Marlboro to tell us all about it. Jay. Leon, tonight we met a woman who said that she knew the victim for years. This woman and many others remain horrified at what unfolded earlier at this intersection. It's likely that many nights will have to pass before those who witnessed what happened at Main and Water Streets in Upper Marlboro Thursday morning will forget the haunting screams that marked the end of a life. I heard a lady scream and a man yelling saying, bus, stop, stop, you're dragging somebody. As it turns out, Katina Foreman, who works at this nearby pizza place, had served the victim lunch a few times a week for years. Just to come in and get a sandwich, you would call every other day to know what the soup of the day is. She was sweet. We're told that the victim worked just behind us in that white building, and this morning she left it to go to the post office, which is about 100 feet away. All she had to do was cross Main Street. This surveillance video tells the rest of this tragic story. Police say the woman, while crossing the street in the crosswalk with the green light, gets run over and killed by a county bus turning left. Bus driver got off the bus. She was just screaming, you know, frantic, you know, just crying, saying she's sorry, she's sorry, it was an accident. Investigators, with the help of this video, are now trying to determine if the bus driver committed a crime. Well, it's very valuable because it shows the entire incident on tape and it shows everything that we need to know and we have witnesses on scene that said that she was crossing with the light. From what friends tell us, many of the victim's daily routines revolved around this intersection. The place she worked, mailed her letters, styled her hair and had lunch. They never imagined her life would be cut short at the very same place. The name of that victim and the name of the female bus driver have not been released, and at this hour, authorities have not determined whether or not they will file charges against that bus driver. Live in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.